Welcome, and today we'll be taking a look at the Aftershock W17. The W17 is our top of the line 17.3 inch gaming notebook, which features the Intel Z97 chipset, which is normally found only in desktop PCs. With this, the W17 supports desktop processors, and we offer a range of i5 and i7 desktop CPUs instead of the typical notebook CPUs, including the i7-4790K, which is an overclockable CPU, meaning that the W17 actually supports CPU overclocking. The graphics card on the W17 is the top of the line, and for gamers, we have the 970M GTX and 980M GTX for gaming performance, and for professionals, we have the Quadro K3100M and the K5100M. So basically, the W17 is a desktop replacement that can de deliver top-of-the-line performance on the go and it will deliver the best that the mobile world currently has to offer in terms of performance. The W17 has a rubberized matte finish which is really nice to the touch and the display on the W17 is 17.3 inch Full HD 72% NTSC display with white color gamut. The viewing angles are also really good on this display and it's really suitable for gamers as well as graphic editors. The web camera is a Full HD 2.0 megapixel web camera and the microphone is located next to it and as you can see we have two speakers located here and one subwoofer below for a 2.1 speaker set up by Onkyo which produces much better sound than our X-Series predecessor. Above the keyboard we have the indicators as well as the power button which has a really nice uh, design to it, you can actually take a look here. And for the keyboard itself it's a full RGB keyboard with um, color customization in three zones, meaning you can customize the color to your liking in three zones on the keyboard, as well as customize various aspects of the lighting, such as patterns and so on and so forth through the software. The keyboard also features anti-ghosting capabilities, meaning that you can hit multiple keys at once and it will register, as well as a much better depth uh, to the keyboard to key travel time rather than what it was in our previous systems. So basically for the keys themselves there's very little flex and the depth has actually been improved meaning you can get a lot more feedback when you hit the keys. Uh, this is best tested at our showroom if you can pay us a visit at either of the offices. The touchpad on the W17 is a multi-touch touchpad and the touchpad buttons have been vastly improved. They have much more depth to them and they have a really nice clicky feel because of the scissor switches. And we're going to take a look, quick look around the system now. So at the front of the W17, what we have is a customizable light, as you can see, and some indicators on the right side for the battery. If we turn the unit over to its left, you can actually see uh, three USB 3.0 ports, a gigabit Ethernet port, a 9-in-1 card reader, and a USB eSATA port. So that's a hybrid port. Okay, we're going to go take a quick look at the bottom and the back of the system. As you can see, this is the intake. Um, for the fans, there's a huge amount of uh, fan intake because the system has an extremely powerful cooling system with an interconnected heatsink with seven heat pipes for the CPU and the GPU. Uh, two next generations fans power the cooling system and push heat out of the system really efficiently. Thus, the two huge fans over here and here. Um, you can safely see the subwoofer here with this compartment here for the hard drives. The W17 supports two M2 PCI Express SSDs as well as two 2.5 inch hard drives. The battery is easily removable and over here we actually have the display connectivity options, two display ports which support 4K displays as well as a HDMI port. So you can support up to three external displays. On the other side of the system we have the audio jacks. The headphone jack on this system has an amplifier and it's over there you can see another USB 3.0 port. So back to the W17, uh, the W17 currently has uh, much improved software as well and I'll show you really quick what we have. So we have the Intel Extreme Tuning Utility and what this allows users to do is if you have a K-series CPU you can actually adjust the clocks and overclock the machine. We'll be providing a simple profile for users to do this easily. Finally, uh, like all Aftershock machines, the W17 comes with the hotkey software. So as you can see, you can easily shift between the various performance modes, from entertainment mode to power mode to uh, power saving modes as well as quiet modes. So basically, depending on your usage, you can instantly click to change the way the W17 is operating and the power draw. We have, we have compiled a lot of applications into this software and the main ones that users will want to take note of are the ability to customize the headphone amplifier. There are some profiles there for users to actually make use of and you can disable your Windows key through this panel as well. Uh, the W17 features flexi key technology meaning that users are able to customize the macros on the keyboard. They're able to customize any key on the keyboard to practically do anything 
meaning that you can disable keys, enable keys, you can reassign keys, or you can even allocate macros and record uh, commands for the keys. So you can press one key to activate a series of commands, perhaps in a game, like an MMO, and you can create multiple profiles uh, for your favorite games. The backlight can also be accessed through this panel. As you can see, you can customize um, the various aspects of the keyboard and the keyboard's behavior as well as the light bar. Finally, uh, the CPU overclocking can also be accessed through this panel. So to learn more about the W17, you can visit our website at www.aftershockpc.com and basically you can talk to one of our sales professionals if you have any questions to customize your own W17 gaming notebook. Thank you.